Hello and welcome to day 78 of our Daily Dose. Today I'm going to read an extract from Euripides' Medea, and this is in David Stuttard's translation, and this is the second speech of Medea's to Creon, after he's allowed her to stay one more day in Corinth. One day. One day. The game's not over yet. Poor Creon, so confused. He could have exiled me now. Now and ruined everything. But no, he's let me stay one day. And in one day, I'll turn the three of them to blistered corpses. Creon, the master. Glauke, the dame. And my husband. There are so, so many ways to kill, so many choices. Fire. Maybe I'll engulf their bridal suite in fire. Or softly silently stalk the corridors and find them sleeping in each other's arms so tenderly so warm so unsuspecting and the knife blade cold and slicing slicing no 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 they might discover me before i've done and then i'll die and give them cause for celebration no 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 the strongest ways, the most direct, the way in which I am by nature most experienced. To poison them. Well, so then they are dead. What next? Who will offer me safe haven then? Who will be there for me? No one. No one. But there is still time. And if he comes, if some man comes for me, some tower of safety, I'll take my time and kill them cleverly. If not, well, even if it means that I must die, I'll do it brutally and violently, but I shall kill them. Well, that's not quite the end of it. I might have to come back to that later, but there you go. There's our sort of ancient villanelle. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'll be back again tomorrow and I'll see you then. Bye.